Hello, once again, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use list within Python. So basically, with variables in Python, you'll be able to create variables so you can hold just a single value. But let's assume you want, you will need to create a list. We have other ones like tuples and dictionary, but today we'll focus on list and look at how we can use list in Python. So let's say, for instance, I create a variable and call it, let's say, friend. When I create a variable this way and assign a name, let's say Timothy, and I print this out. So let's say print, and then I'll call my variable, which is friend. And when I run this, it's going to print out for Timothy. So basically, this is how to print something. You want to print something to the screen in Python, you use the print keyword. So remember, this friend can hold just Timothy, but assume you want to have multiples of names so let's say when you bring comma you can add another name let's say set and just multiples of me how then do you go about it so we can easily use list to do that so we're going to do that in this particular video so to build a list i'm going to create my first list so like i said it's going to hold multiples of value so let's say the name of my list is called friend okay so i can even so let me say friends so i'm going to build a list of my friends and you have to use the square brackets okay so we're going to have i'm going to just type in the name of my friend so i'm going to have set kelvin i'm john so remember this has friends and they need to be in what double quote see i have amanda so I have Sarah, then I have Aira. So let's say this is my list and then let me add my last one. So I'm going to say, let's say I want a list of lucky numbers. So let's say lucky. Okay, so creating variables, I'll talk about that in another video. So remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. This is a list that I'm creating. I'm creating a variable actually. And this is going to hold a list of lucky numbers. But I realize that creating variables, you don't need to give a space between this, I was in two ways. So you want to use two ways in Python. Let's say you're creating a variable, there shouldn't be space. So this is a typical example of using the camo case to create a variable i can also use an underscore to join this way or i can also use a pascal case so the pascal case means that the first letter will start with caps and then the second one also will start with caps but mostly i prefer using either the camo case or using the underscore to join the two ways okay so i have my second list let's see this is just numbers so with numbers these are just integers so this are not going to be in any quotes okay so this are just a group of what lucky numbers i'm trying to create a list for okay so let's say this a group of lucky numbers so this uh, two different lists a list of names friends and then a list of not lucky numbers so this is how to create list but after creating list what then can you do it then so list we can print all the values we have within our list we can reassign or modify values within the list and then we can also delete item from the list so we have some functions we can use on this particular list okay and we can also join these two lists together so using friends and then lucky we can join these two lists together so we're going to apply those functions on this particular list so stay tuned and see how i'm going to do that so the first is i want to print all values within my friends list so i can just use the print keyword print and then just call my list say friends this way so when i run this it's going to print out all the values for me so you can see over here i have all my value printed out okay that's printed everything for me within this list i can also decide to print all my lucky numbers so if i go and i say okay i, I made luck numbers so let me say lucky numbers so if i come here and i say lucky numbers remember to create anytime you create a, a variable they are case sensitive so it should be 
sure about how you do your typing. So I'm going to print all my lucky numbers. So when I run this, okay, so I left S out. So lucky number, that's why I said everything is case sensitive. So if you want to print this out, you just type and then run this and it's going to print everything out for you. So I've been able to print everything within my list. But what about you want to target just a value? I just want to print set within this list. You can easily target a value and then print just that one out. Okay, so indexing in list, if you're familiar with IRI, you easily understand the concept of a list. They are almost the same. Okay, but I would say list and then IRI are just the same. So over here, you can see I have every value position within my list. So we have set over here. So set is at index zero. So indexing start from zero, okay? So set is at index zero, Kevin index one in that order. So automatically from this list, even though John appeared to be on the third, but within this list is actually number two, okay? So because indexing start from what? Zero. So we want to print set. So to target set, we see friend, Friends, then you bring the your square bracket. So we're going to target the index. So we want to print set. So set is at index zero. So we type in zero and then you run this code. So it's going to print out just set. Okay, you can see how amazing this is going to look like. So you want to print Kevin. It's the same. We can just have to change this to what? You just have to change this to what one. When you run this, it's going to print out Kevin. So you can easily target. You can, if you decide to print from Kevin to the rest. Or the end of the list you can decide to print from Kevin up to Aram that is the last value in the list you can equally do that when you type in one this way just bring a colon this way and then run this code when you run this it's going to print from Kevin all the way to the last person in the list okay so this set has been left out every other person in the list has been printed out it's also strategy we also have strategy where you can print the last value you can start printing from the right from the end of the list so if you bring minus one, minus one is going to print from the last end of this list. So you can see I'm able to print Serum from this particular list. So what about I want to add lucky numbers to friends. So let's look at how we can actually do this. I can merge these two together. So if I come here and I say friends, dot extend so extend is a function which i can use to what add the lucky numbers to what friends list so you're going to append append okay not append per se this is going to add a complete lucky numbers to what my friends list so if i come here and i say what lucky numbers so this time if i print my list my friends list look at what is happening so it has printed the entire friends and then it continue with what? The lucky numbers in that order. So there's amazing, there's so many things we can do with what? List once we create the list. We can delete numbers from the list. We can add numbers. So let's look at how we can at least delete a number from the list. So I'm just going to clear this and then within this we're going to use a couple of functions. Like I said, there are some already created function there are some already created function for you with a python language okay that you can use but you can also create our own functions as we go along but this tutorial we're just going to focus on listen how we can use some functions on them if you look at how we use the extended or how do we use the extend function within our list so we've been able to add these two together we can also remove the last value from a list Okay, this a ram so you want to remove a ram from this list we can easily go ahead and then use one particular function called pop so if you use friends.pop it's actually going to remove a ram from this list so let's try this and see if i run this realize that it ended at what say ram i don't have a ram in the list again so this function is actually going to delete the last person from the list but you can target a particular person in the list and also remove that person, okay? So once I do apply that function on the list and I try to use this to print out a particular list again and see. So actually, the code will run from the top to the bottom. So any change I make over here to take that effect before the code be printed out. 
okay so we've been able to use the pop keyword what about if we notice that the pop keyword you can notice you can see clearly that the pop keyword is really deleting the last word from the list but what about if you want to just delete the target keyword let's say you want to delete john from the list okay with that one you have to use the remove keyword so you use the remove and this way you have to specify what you want to remove. so i want to remove john from the list so i target john when i run this code you see it will be printed without john so let me run this and see you can see clearly that john has been what deleted from the list so we have so many other functions that we can also so i've deleted john from the list let's assume i want to add another person after this list okay so after Aaron, let's say i want to add timothy to this list so we can use append keyword append so this is the word append so i'm going to add timothy to this list so if i run this code again after Aaron, we should be having what timothy as part of this list so you cannot see that we have timothy as part of this list there's some amazing functions you can use also to manipulate values that you have within a list we can even decide to empty this entire list make sure that there's nothing in our list we can use the word clear so we can say friends dot word clear it's also a function so when you run this we realize that our list become what empty if i run this see we have an what empty list so we can also use this property on our list there are other options that we can also do we can also insert a value realize that when I use the append keyword, it's adding the value to the last end of my list. So what about if I want a particular index within this particular list? I can use the insert keyword. But the insert keyword is going to take two values. So that's the index. So let's say this Kevin is at index one. So I want to put a new value over there. So let's say I want to put Gable. Gable out index one. So I've target index one. I'm going to put Gable over there. So automatically, it's going to pull or it's going to push Kevin to the second index, okay? And then in that order. So the rest will push and then it, it will create, actually create a space for K Gable, okay? So there will not be a space for Gable. So if I run this, Gable should not be part of our list. So if I run this, you can see that index one is not having what Gable. Kevin has moved to index two, John to index three, and that's particular. Order. okay so this is some of the amazing techniques some of the things you can do with index within excel so what about you you also want to do sorting you can also sort values within list okay so let's look at how we can do that if i decide to go and say sort I say friends.sort. If I run this, you can see it's going to arrange or sort this in alphabetical order. So it's going to start from Amanda, which is start, I actually start from A and in that order. So I can sort them in alphabetical order. So you can actually use that to also manipulate values you have within the list. Okay. So you can also use a count keyword. Okay. You can also count value. So let's say we want to count the values that we have within our list. We also want to check the number of times a particular value appear within the list. So I have John within this list. So let's assume we want to see the number of times John appear within this list. I can equally do that. I can say print dot friends and I say dot count. So I can use the count keyword. count then i'm going to type in john so it should be in quotes that's a string so i say john and if i run this i have a john appearing just one so it should be one should be printed out okay if i decide to go ahead and then add another john and i print this out i should be getting what two because john actually appeared what twice within this list okay so you can see two over here so there are several things you can also do using list you can also decide to find out the index of particular value so maybe i want to know the index of john okay so let me delete one john i'll delete one john let's see i want to find the index of john so i just bring in the index keyword this way 
So when I run this, it tell me in automatically can see that in John is at index number two. Okay. Okay, so let me change this to let's say Amanda. Okay, so that we know the index of Amanda. So I run it, I should be getting three. So you can see Amanda has Amanda is at index number three. If I type in a value that or a person which is not in the index or is not part of our list, I should be getting an error. So let's see Ivy. And if I run this, because Ivy is not part of the list, I'm getting errors. So Ivy is not in the list. So that's why I'm getting error for this. So there are so many things you can do using list. Let me just talk about two more things you can do with list, then we can end this particular we can end this particular tutorial okay so i can equally say that friends dot reverse so i can see all the values i have within my index i just want to reverse them so i can i can do that so let me now print my list and see so when i run this you can see i have a at the end but this time around because i try to reverse everything a gram is not starting the list okay you can equally do that and the last thing I'm going to talk about is how to copy a list. So if I come here, I have my friends list. Let's say I want to create another friend. Let's say friend, friends, friends one. So I can see friends one is called towards my friends dot copy. So basically what this is going to do is that if I run this code, all the list, all everything I have for friends, or be copied to a friend, uh, friends one. Okay, everything I have for friends list will be copied to friends one. So I have to change this to what to one, and then you realize that you're going to have the same value as what friends. So friends one is going to have the same value as friend. You can see that. Okay. So remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. In order to get, in order to get updated anytime we upload a new content, I'm going to actually focus more on the programming aspect teach you the basis of python from there we can graduate to some data science how we can use python to do some data analysis and then the rest there are so many amazing things i'm going to do on this channel so remember to subscribe and stay tuned so you don't lose anything from this tutorial